Hey guys, Tyler at North 40 Fly Shop here in Coeur d'Alene. Um, today we are going to show you how to tie the mahogany thorax done. One of my favorite type of mayfly patterns here. Um, I really, really like how this thing sits in the water. Um, kind of an old classic pattern, but uh, some of the old ones are some of the best. Um, I do uh, a Hungarian partridge wing here. I like the mottled look to it. You could do mallard, you could do turkey flats. A lot of different options for the wing. Um, I like the Hungarian partridge, kind of looks cool, looks realistic. Um, pretty simple fly to tie, it's not really, really difficult, it's not really a parachute, but uh, um, you know, if you, if you struggle with tying a parachute, this is a great fly to tie for you. Um, it doesn't really require a real gentle hand when you're doing a parachute, um, so a little bit easier to tie than a parachute, and fish is fantastic, what I also like about it. Um, after we wrap the, the hackle around the middle portion of the, the, uh, the thorax here, we're going to clip the bottom. And what that does is it helps that fly wrap, uh, ride perfectly in the water. Um, almost every time, as long as you got it greased up good with some floating, it floats perfectly. Wings upright, throws a good silhouette on the water. So, anyhow, I'd like to show you how to tie it, and thanks for watching. So, we're going to start right just behind the front of the, the hook here. Get tied in with your thread. We're gonna tie our wing in first here, guys. So we're using Hungarian partridge for the for the wing. So what I like to do is get these guys facing each other. They're kind of cupped, um, so we want both of them cup in, so they kind of hold together, or kind of marry. So get them prepped, and go ahead and tie right in right there. Trim off your excess, and then post it up like you would a parachute. like so, pretty simple. Okay, next we're going to tie our tail in. So what I want to try and do is select four of these micro fibbits, which is sometimes kind of tricky to do. Just take your time. Go ahead and tie those guys in. And they're going to be all initially clumped together like this, so I'm going to make a loop underneath them and that's going to help fan them out. And then you can select two on each side. And I'm gonna give them a cross right in between. And that should do it right there. Okay, next we're gonna do our fine and dry dubbing. And again, this is a mahogany. You guys can do this pattern in any mayfly style you want, whether it be a green drake, pale morning dun, blueing olive, whatever you want. So I'm gonna get my dubbing added on there. What I like to do again is I'm going to come back through here, add some of the dubbing in between the micro fibbits there. This really helps keep them splayed apart there. Go ahead and start coming forward. I'm going to stop right behind the wing. Good. Okay, now I'm going to get our hackle prepped here. Just want to get a little bit of the barb stripped off there and tie that in. Got a little bit more dubbing. Bring your dubbing forward. It's a pretty simple fly to tie man, but I fished it when I was guiding years ago. It is one of my favorites. It it floats almost perfect every time you cast it as far as how it rides in the water. Throws a great silhouette, and if you're working picky fish, you as well have your bug fishing the way it's supposed to. All right, so now we got our taper made there. Uh, we're gonna wrap our hackle. And this is really the major component of what makes this fly float good. So I'm not too conservative with my wraps. I, I do quite a few. I'm gonna tie it off on the front. trim and I'm going to whip finish here. Flies go, this fly goes pretty quick. Good, trim. A little bit of head cement. And okay, now what we do, we're going to come here and shape our wing a little bit. Some guys used to or some still do, I suppose, use a wing burner. 
they'll come through and they have these old school wing burners that make the shape all look pretty. Those are cool. I don't use them, but have at it. So now I'm going to come through and trim the bottom of the, the hackles off. That makes the fly float flush. And I'm going to add some head cement there as well. That's going to soak in. Also, it kind of helps hold that uh, hackle together after you catch a few fish, it won't split apart. But that's it, guys. Um, very basic fly, but man, this fly floats fantastic. What you can do for fun after you get it done tied, uh, throw it on the table. Try throwing it as many different kind times as you can, and it'll land upright, that wing upright every time, which is cool. That's how it's going to throw on the water. That's what you want. You want the, thro the fly casting a nice silhouette when it's out there for the fish. So there you have it. There's your uh, mah mahogany done in the thorax style.